Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Today's a rare one. Usually my videos on topics are one and dones, but when I'm making like a third video on a topic, that's because it's so massive and fluid that I have to discuss it, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Reddit once again. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's no surprise, Reddit's an important part of any YouTuber and their content. Obviously, when it comes to anybody on the internet, when you're looking something up, it's typing the prompt into Google and then putting in space Reddit and getting the answer you want because some other person's already figured it out for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today I've been having a discussion with IRL friends who, you know, work in their respective fields who are telling me, God damn, every Reddit is private. Some people didn't even know there's a Reddit protest going on. TLDR, Reddit's having a, Redditors are having a protest over Reddit with their API changes. They're actually charging a, a fuck ton for API access now, considering when they used to didn't. So a lot of these third party applications are getting fisted with these mega, mega massive bills. So that's pretty much the protest going on. And for a lot of people out in the real world, they had no idea what was going on. I have to tell them this is actually a protest. Reddit's not been hacked. No, 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 no. There's no global bug. These people have actually privated down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of a protest is actually showing some real weight. I want to equate it to something that I think would be better, like, like actual Fortnite terms. Imagine, all right, tomorrow, if like your favorite YouTubers, like YouTube did something weird in the system. And every single YouTuber you know, okay, like me, you know, you got, uh, you know, Charlie, you've got, you know, um, you got Pyrocynical, you've got, you know, your cooking channels, you've got all these YouTubers, you got everyone out there, Nexpo, a lot of the people you know and love just automatically decided, yeah, we're going to go private indefinitely. Now, obviously, kind of a weird scenario to make. For some people, this is their job, so immediately shutting off your job isn't necessarily good for you. But to understand if all YouTubers shut off their channels, YouTube might crap themselves because all of a sudden, those like r impressions that keep coming back because of that content just will not show up anymore, okay? Because there's only so many people that'll just watch cat videos indefinitely. That's kind of the same thing you've got about with Reddit over here. Now, genuinely, I, I haven't signed on to Reddit at all because every single Reddit I wanted to go to was pretty much private anyways, all right? Literally, I was working on a couple of videos regarding Mac gaming, that shut off. Apple, that shut off. A lot of my favorite tech subreddits are all of them are shut off. PC gaming, gone. Everything is gone. You know the only thing that's available right now? Sink pissers, okay? That's it. So when you're 6'4", all right, every goddamn sink is a urinal. That's the motto burned into my head, okay? I even, I even pissed in my sink today because <laughs> that's all I could do. Ladies and gentlemen, even to access the Reddit live stream that was going on about the blackout, I, I Googled literally Reddit blackout live stream. Oh, wow, what's that? Reddit? Let's go click here. Takes me to live stream fail, which itself is a private community. <laughs> And then, uh, then I had to actually go to Twitch to find out 8,440 out of proposed 8,839 of the most popular subreddits have been taken down. So for instance, some of these reddits, like for instance, Top Talent went down, which has about 1 million users, not a small paltry sum, so to speak. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this all could change tomorrow because like I said, this subreddit was, uh, this whole Reddit blackout was supposed to last 48 hours. I think what's so wild about this is realizing just how much of a useful resource Reddit actually is. Look, I get it. Dealing with mods on a power trip is one story is, is is a problem that you'll always see throughout the end of time on social media platforms. But back in the day, all right, when I was a young buck, early 2000s, accessing the internet over broadband ISDN, there were just like your standard forum pages all over the world. I'll be real. Ever since the popularity of Reddit, I haven't touched an independent forum page ever. I used to be a huge forum lurker. So for me, getting all my answers in one website through multiple subreddit communities was genuinely amazing. So anyways, the crux of this is I was literally working on Mac gaming. I decided, you know what? I'm going to sit down and just look up Morrowind stuff. Maybe a Morrowind guide, so to speak. Bro, r slash Morrowind is shut down. Believe it or not, I'm working on a creepy pasta video <laughs> about an old school Elder Scrolls Morrowind mod. Even that subreddit's been completely privated. Literally, there is not a single subreddit that I could access, aside from fucking sink pissers, that could even get me anything. 
There are so many people having Reddit withdrawals that they made free versions of like other popular Reddits like PC gaming. And the spillover has not existed, okay? They've got like nine members maximum, all right? This isn't happening. Now going back to the Reddit front page, obviously it's working again. Uh, if I go to other pages like r slash video games, these are reddits that actually are working. So obviously, it's not as if everyone is participating. It's just that for a lot of these reddit boards, uh, some of them just like, some of them don't care. Uh, but a grand majority of the most popular communities have in fact shut down. And it's caused a quality drop, if you will, a content drop noticeably on the website. Now, that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, I want to just start off by saying this better be indefinite, like I said yesterday, okay? When it comes to an indefinite protest, and I hate this 48-hour protest bullshit, if you protest for 48 hours, if you literally give an end date, that's like saying I'm going to participate in a hunger strike until I get hungry. Nah, bitch! You want to participate in a strike? You want to make it effective? You hunger strike till you die, all right? At least that's how Gandhi would do it. But well, ladies and gentlemen, even the CEO, Steve Huffman for Reddit, came out in a memo last uh, yesterday and uh, basically talked about this. We have not seen any significant revenue impact so far, but we will continue to monitor. Yeah, you probably won't notice anything, you know, until 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 a few days, weeks have come to pass. There's a lot of noise with this one amongst the noises we've seen. Please know that our teams are on it. And like all blowups on Reddit, this one will pass as well. The most important things we can do right now are stay focused, adapt to change, and keep moving forward. The only long-term solution is improving our product. So literally, as these websites have, been, as as Reddit has been like taken down, and as Reddit has faced like a uh, sort of sort of like I guess you could say a lull at the moment. Uh, clearly, they're just going to use this to upgrade their infrastructure and make their website you know handle load better. But uh, when it comes to them facing into it, they clearly know that if this entire protest is going to have a limited run, they know that this too shall pass. So immediately I've just been wondering, I'm like, wait a minute. Now, if you're a Reddit moderator, right? Like and to understand if you're like a, if you're, if you're one of the people that has the power of some of the largest communities on this platform, you're clearly not getting paid by Reddit. You're not on the Reddit payroll. Clearly a lot of these moderators are doing it entirely for free. Like I told you, Moderating on Reddit and being a sort of like a subreddit admin is a truly thankless endeavor. You're not really getting paid for anything except fucking karma and ass pats. So realistically, you should be treating this as a goddamn power trip. Clearly, you've understood that for the general consumer like me and the average person on the internet, Reddit is an important resource. And apparently holding that hostage is really making the actual administration look terrible in the eyes. It's not just me talking about it. This is actually mainstream like news at this moment in time. There are people that didn't even know what a goddamn Reddit was that are actually talking about this blackout in a very serious nature. Now to understand, I'm not totally against Reddit either. I get why they made these API changes probably because of language learning models, like, like ML models, like these AI models out there that are constantly scraping data. But I don't think it's okay for them to like absolutely go on their third parties this hard. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. They are a business, okay? They want to go you know, public soon. They wanna make a crap ton of money. And unfortunately, they're at this like weird fulcrum point where if they don't cave to these weird, if they don't cave to the demands of these actual, uh, I was gonna say weird, but if they don't cave to these demands, then they could absolutely see a noticeable drop off on their website. While this may be going against certain wishes of the protest, if you ever do come across a uh, post that you actually want to really view because it contains valuable information, uh, I believe what you can do right now, for now, is at least go to the URL bar of that uh, you know specific post and just put cache colon before it, and then you should be able to view the uh, cached version of the page. Again, I don't know if this works for every single post, but for the ones that I really needed, it absolutely was there. So again, this is like the last ditch scenario if you're like you know trying to look up something for a coding project that you're on, and this is th th this may be your last resort. Just putting it out there. Now, last time I talked about it, I said maybe there could be another website like Reddit that could kick in. Honestly, these websites are so massive that to immediately create like a competitor, like in, in, in at least a live streaming space, like Twitch has Kick 
and uh, YouTube has Rumble, but it's gonna take a while before any other company comes in. But the moment that happens, and if these Redditors wanna keep, like if the Reddit administration wants to keep going down this path, I actually don't foresee, like, I actually don't like really, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the general user base from this website immediately jumps onto an opposing platform and just starts fresh from there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bad, bad day for Reddit. And clearly, nobody wants to compromise and nobody wants to cave in. You've got mods and admins on the most increased power trips imaginable, and you got a CEO so fucking out of touch you might be in a different goddamn galaxy altogether. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get anything done today on the world of the internet, seeking information and resources, have shown me that, for better or for worse, Reddit is, in fact, one of the largest resources for guides... Uh, information on the internet. Tons of people have created the most absolute stellar guides, information stored on multiple subreddits. And unfortunately, because of this blackout, because of Reddit being Reddit, we can't even access it. Wild shit indeed. So today I want to ask you to play a little game, okay? Go onto the Steam discussions forums, go onto anything on the internet, and just uh, play a game with yourself. See how many times you come across that goddamn locked Reddit screen. I guarantee you it's going to be a 9 times out of 10 scenario. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I have got an emulation video to make tomorrow. So I'm going to get to work on that. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.